Hi there. Uh, now I'm going to show you is how to create two images um, for, the, for an iPhone app and have them have the user select either image and drag them about the screen and um, just play with them really. So what I'm going to do is going to start create a new Xcode project. And then from the uh, application section in the iPhone OS, just there, you want to select a view based application. That's just a normal simple single view just to try for this. Um, now I'll save it to the desktop as uh, we can call it whatever project, and we can call it drag image, and click save. Uh, you get your the normal default view when you create a new project here. And over on the left hand side, I'm going to open up classes and resources. Now the two files we're going to editing most are these two here, and then with the interface builder, we're going to drag the images in. Um, name them, that's pretty much it. So now wherever you create your image, for mine's in a desktop, um, here we go, image, and what you have to do is drag that into anywhere along here really, but I'm going to stick mine in resources and click add, and you can see the image just there. And what we want to do is, uh, in the um, H file here. We're going to uh, create an inst create your images really. So you're going to go to IB Outlet UI Image View Asterisk. I'm going to call mine um, Image One. And because we want two of the same image, we want to use to be able to drag them around a bit. IB, IB Outlet UI Image View Image Two. And then you go into your interface builder. Just let that, let that load up. For the sake of whatever, I'm just going to change the background to white. Anyway. And I'm going to click in media and drag two images on. Now you can't do anything with these yet until you've selected which is image one, which is image two. So we're going to click File Owner here, and then go up into the this icon here where you can you can choose your outlets. So image one, drag that over, first image. Image two, it's my second image. So they've both been chosen. If you have a look over here, image right. Now we can save that. Just click File, Save. And then you can close that down. <clears throat> now, when you use these image one and image two, they've actually been chosen now on the view, so you can start playing around with them. So we're going to go into the .m file here. Um, don't need most of this. And this is where we start doing the touches things. So I've got a uh, text edit here. Of, right, here we go. Now the code I've just pasted. Right, so I zoom in. Right, we've got uh, touches moved, colon and a set touches with events, uh, etc. And then the curly brackets. And what what this does is uh, we've created a new instance of UI touch, and wherever you touch, it um, it goes into there. Right, let me zoom out again. So I've got this code copied and pasted here. Right. Now this is another bit you want to add. Um, this is for your first image. If uh, wherever you touch, that's the touch view here. If it equals the image one, so if you've named yours another image, um, just rename it there. Then the CG point location. Um, the touch location and view, which the self dot view is the whole whole screen there. The image dot center equals location. So that means if you click image one, um, the center of image one will be where you're touching. So then you can keep dragging it about the screen. And now, if we want the second one for another view for another image, if bracket square bracket touch view equals image two. 
again we do CG points location equals touch location in view self dot oops self dot view close the bracket and the semicolon then we do image two dot center equals location Uh, so that should be all the code we need. Now if we, on the simulator, if we build and run, we'll see how this plays out. There we go. You can drag, a, drag them around the screen, whichever one. And just play about with them. Of course, if you image view, well, I'll show you now. There you go. So, in my image view has this overlapping bit. I didn't uh, choose to make the image properly. But that means if you touch any of the image there, touch it, that bit where the uh, hand icon is, that will start moving the image too. And same with that. So, if that one's overlapping, you can see it's kind of overlapping that, it'll select this one. But uh, there's an example for you. So you would create a dragging image. Um, you can follow me on Twitter. Uh, it's twitter.com forward slash dominus, D-O-M-N-E-S-S. -S. Thank you very much.